comes to live streaming and content creation, the gear that you use, the way your desk is set up, and your environment where you create content is so important. So today I wanted to go ahead and make a video of my current gear, my current desk setup, to give you guys some ideas or inspiration to be able to start leveling up your content. So let's go ahead and dive into what I currently have and what I've accumulated over the last few years. And unfortunately, a lot of the stuff that I have currently now, it's gonna go ahead and change as I'm currently updating the studio and I can't wait to go ahead and show you that so I wanted to show you what I currently have give you some ideas as a console streamer as a content creator what I currently use to make the videos that I have on YouTube now what I use to stream what I utilize to be productive throughout my work day so let's go ahead and dive right into it <laughs> So of course, starting with the webcam, this is gonna be the Logitech C920. This is gonna be the first webcam that I acquired when I started streaming directly from my Xbox to Mixer. Uh, it has done me well. Now it's become my secondary camera that I utilize as a secondary look whenever I'm live streaming or creating content to get a different angle. Keep in mind that utilizing the C920, it's gonna give you 1080p, and since most people watch your stream on mobile, it's gonna give them a good quality as well then I have this on a regular just stand uh, that I have this is just a desk clamp stand um, that I have here it's about I think maybe 10 or 12 dollars uh, to be able to acquire it then here uh, this is my go-to uh, kitchen timer uh, that I've utilized here in my workspace uh, to be able to keep me productive and in deep focus mode so what I like to do is I like to set this sometimes to 25 minutes and then what I do is that I work and I focus in for those 25 minutes then when the timer rings I put it on five minutes and it gives me time to be able to get on social media sometimes I jump on the switch play a little bit of Rocket League and just to unwind and then I get right back into it for another 25 minutes and I typically do that throughout my whole work block then what you see here is gonna be a charging station this is, has been a lifesaver in so many scenarios allowing me to be able to charge my Apple watch charge my airpods and charge my iPhone all at the same time these are things that I use daily I use my Apple watch for fitness a lot use my pods to be able to listen to my music and of course my phone to be able to browse social media work answer emails and so much and I think this charger here was about 30 bucks but it's been well worth it then what you see here is gonna be the Logitech uh, speakers these are gonna be some budget friendly speakers I really acquired them I think they were like 30 bucks on Amazon when I got them um, but I just love the way they look and they sound pretty great um, they're probably not the best speakers if you're gonna do editing and you need to be worrying about audio um, but for the most part for what I use them which is watching YouTube videos, um, watching sports on, on my computer, um, they get the job done pretty well. Then here is gonna be one of my prized possessions. As you guys know, I am a console gamer. So pretty much this is gonna be my Elite 2 controller. Um, I use this pretty much every single day. Um, I play a lot of Apex and a lot of 2K. So you'll see here that my current uh, controller layout is set for Apex. Um, so I have two paddles on the back that I use for uh, X and for sliding. And then I have a controller control stick thumbstick here to be able to control my aiming so I can beam people um, so if you guys do play Apex or 2k make sure to go ahead and add me last curry uh, at, on Xbox is my gamer tag then I have here two blue light canceling uh, glasses uh, one of these is gonna be the gunner optics not only do these uh, uh, help with the blue light but they also zoom in these are the ones that I use for my gaming and then the other ones that I have here they just are blue light canceling they don't zoom in but these are the ones that I use when I do daily work um, to be able to kind of uh, protect my eyes because I'm in front of screens uh, pretty much for anywhere from like 13 to 15 hours a day then here I have the Xbox wireless headsets I've had these things for about six months now um, I wanted to look for a budget friendly uh, wireless headset that didn't have any wires but still gave me good audio sound uh, especially when you're playing Apex you know how important sound is to be able to understand when the enemy's near and just you just need it it's so important and I acquired these and I wanted something that was comfortable as well so um, I wear these for about you know I mean maybe sometimes eight hours a day uh, simply because they're Bluetooth so not only I can listen to music as well uh, when I'm on here but they also allow you to be able to go ahead and um, monitor and change the volume of the game of the people you're talking to in a party and also of the music so you can listen to all three at the same time and with the app inside of the app 
Xbox called uh, Adobe Digital, uh, you're able to enhance the audio even more. Um, so these has been this has been great for 99 bucks. Uh, I can't complain. Then you'll see back here I have my uh, Mac laptop. Now the Mac laptop is what I pretty much use on a day to day to do my work. Um, so that's where you'll see me. I'll respond to emails. I'll be managing YouTube comments, handling a lot of my social media, um, and just what I use on a day to day basis. Now I don't save anything to my computer. I always use an external hard drive. So I have a one terabyte or hard drive that I save all my files to. And you'll see I do the same for my Xbox and the same for my Windows computer. Um, but that's going to be my Mac. That's what I said, 2019 model. I have that connected to a dongle that allows me to be able to connect a a HDMI cable connect multiple USB ports because the 2019 model didn't have any additional ports so you needed to get something external like that uh, then as far as my lighting that you see here I'm utilizing the key light airs um, so these are not very budget friendly um, I didn't these are the ones that actually sit on your desk so if you don't have a lot of desk space and you want the Elgato key the Elgato lights then you want to go for the key lights the ones that are have the actual clamps um, um, but I wouldn't recommend these as a budget friendly light. Um, I know that there's now lights available for less than $100, sometimes even less than $50 uh, that you can utilize to be able to light yourself for your stream, for your videos. So I'll link some alternative products in the description of this video as well, along with every other product that you see here today. So moving over, this brings me over to my monitors. Now, these are extremely, extremely budget friendly monitors. Um, since I don't game on the computer, I wasn't really looking for uh, gaming monitors just needed a monitor that was 1080p provided a low uh, millisecond response rate which this does I believe it's a one second millisecond response and the color quality of it is pretty great for what I for what I needed I'm not very picky um, but when I got these at the time they were about 80 bucks um, you couldn't beat it they were slim profile uh, had good quality audio uh, they even have speakers built in I'll recommend some better uh, monitors that you can be able to utilize simply because these now are about like 120 20, 130 and there's way better gaming monitors uh, for that same price point that you can utilize especially if you really are into the quality that you get from your console or from the games on your computer so I'll link those in the description as well uh, then leaning here into my console I use the Xbox uh, Series S I've had it since launch uh, this thing is a beauty it's done a lot of great things for me a lot of people have issues with this overheating what I've come to find is that after every use I just simply unplug it because it does like to stay in standby mode so that it can power up as fast as possible and then it's connected to my Xbox I have the Elgato HD 60 S this is what I use to be able to connect my Xbox to my computer to be able to bring it into OBS or even to be able to record and create content utilizing Elgato software um, so again I know that they've released now recently a new Elgato capture card uh, that's more related for the new series consoles then as far as my camera that I'm utilizing to be able to record my content uh, also for live streaming is the Sony a5100 um, with a 16 millimeter 1.4 uh, uh, lens the camera itself I think was about four or five hundred dollars when I got it and the lens was about two three hundred dollars and I have it connected directly into my computer using the Elgato cam link which turns my DSLR camera which that's the Sony a5100 into a webcam that can be picked up into OBS and any other streaming software that I'm utilizing then of course we have here the stream deck now the stream deck is a pretty handy tool that improves your workflow um, so I utilize this to be able to go ahead and turn on all the lights in the stream it just simplifies the process of you getting started with your streaming if I want to clip something if I want to zoom in my camera I can use the stream deck to do that and then looking at my desk I have this nice matte finish uh, desk mat that I got on Amazon for about nine bucks but it washes pretty good you can see here um, that I have my keyboards have my Apple keyboard that I utilize every single day with my Apple mice and then I have just a basic keyboard simply because my Windows computer I just utilize it for minimal tasks but I will be upgrading this here shortly then that leads me here into my PC so this is gonna be a Windows computer that I went ahead and built uh, about two years ago um, it's strictly just a streaming PC so it doesn't have any kind of graphics card I think it has 16 gigabytes of RAM and I built it for about four hundred 
$100 case and all everything included um, I built it I have a video on my channel on that and I built this specifically just for streaming and then as far as the microphone that I'm using this is gonna be the audio technica um, and this is a great budget microphone for $99 I also recommend the Rode pod mic as a streamer mic as well which is also 99 I think the audio technica is like 120 um, as well but I'll link those microphones in the description of this video um, but this has been great I have a pop filter on it um, and then I utilize a newer um, mic arm stand that was about maybe 15 bucks and then here I have a memory card reader this is just to be able to go ahead and have some additional USB ports along with being able to grab my memory card from my camera uh, to be able to pull that content in then as far as the desk where everything is sitting at this is gonna be another budget-friendly desk that I utilize I got it on Amazon for like 70 bucks it's 60 inches long and then two feet wide which allows me to have everything uh, sit it here on the desk without any issue as far as the chair that I'm sitting on this chair has done me wonders as well it's been with me for quite some time um, it's a s racer gaming chair uh, it's pretty good um, like I said for the, the aesthetics if you want a gaming chair I'm gonna be upgrading to hopefully either a Herman Miller or respawn or a Mavic's chair um, still have to go ahead and make a decision on that and I'm focusing more on ergonomics and making sure that my posture is right so this chair has done me wonders it's a great starter chair it's definitely looks aesthetically pleasing on camera but now I'm looking more towards uh, health things then the backlight that you always see in my videos that are less oh, either blue purple or any simple color that's gonna be the RB9 we light um, so that lights gonna be about anywhere I think it's like a hundred hundred and twenty dollars um, but it's amazing there's amount of colors you can change uh, to it's just amazing um, and it just I use a backdrop which that's the backdrop you see here behind in all my videos but what you can see here is that I've mounted it on the wall and I've gotten a gray paper and when you utilize gray any color that you splash on it will change to the color that you have so if I have a blue light the wall changes blue if I have purple it changes purple so and it has a pulley system where you can go ahead and pull the uh, backdrop up if you want to I always leave it down since it's always in my videos then here at the bottom I have the Elgato uh, green screen which I don't utilize quite often but it is gonna start getting utilized now more in my new setup for my TikTok videos for my reels to be able to put backgrounds behind me of course Elgato creates some amazing products um, they're not always the most budget friendly um, but they are durable and they do last a long time so also think about that when you're investing in your gear think about future thinking as opposed to just getting the best and the cheapest product right now here on this uh, desk here to the right uh, unfortunately this is probably gonna disappear here in the new setup but uh, this is where I put a lot of the mobilia things that I want in my shot for my videos so I have a ring light that I use as a back hair light and what that light does is that it separates me from the background giving me a little bit more depth in my video so it just makes the background look a lot better and then here I have uh, three quotes that I always like to live by it's never too late to be who you who you say you're going to be a good thing comes to those who wait but great things come to those who take action and don't give up it won't be easy but it will be worth it those are things that remind me on the journey that I'm in and then here I have several books that I've loved to always read and go back to um, along with some uh, sports figures and just plenty of things that I enjoy uh, looking at and just really set the tone for uh, the studio here so overall that is gonna be the current desk tour for what I utilize to be able to live stream to be able to create my content and my YouTube videos and what I currently use of course there's gonna be an update to the studio where I talk about the sound panels that I made how I went ahead and created a sound absorption on the ceiling using the TikTok cloud ceiling and so many other gear and equipment that I'm upgrading to to be able to make the production even easier so as always everything that I mentioned in this video you'll find in the description of this video and if you want to learn how to go ahead and start making your live streams look professional then you want to go ahead and watch this video where I show you how to be able to utilize OBS and I even give you free overlays that you can utilize to be able to enhance the look and feel of your live streams I'll see you guys in the next video